Hello, Sir Hobo, and hello, stream. Hello. I've been seeing you play that a lot. Now, you now, shut up, me. This is my friend's volume's on. Yeah, it's on. in 25 seconds. Just as usual stream. Wait a few minutes so everyone will get longer. Okay. Oh, did you see the thing with Polygon? The NASCAR 83? Yeah, in the video, uh, the friend system has been improved, or friend system, the rival system has been improved on. It's a little interesting. It, it kind of reminds me really of, like, now, like, the older NASCAR games, like when EA made them with the rival system, where, um, Basically, they kind of like did the fake social media thing to a, to a new like aspect where you can basically like you can either compliment or like roast somebody basically on the social media and make them happier or angrier that way. And then like I guess if you make them upset, you can like try to apologize and they won't be as mad. And then in this in in he three it seems like like you can be like allies, not like allies, but like it's like friendly and friends and then it progresses to like neutral and then angry and it seems like the physics are kind of better between cars because that was an emphasis in the video they talked about how like basically like you ram into them they'll spin out obviously with enough force but not to the point where it's like a tap and they'll die but then like it's vice versa like they won't like just kill you like your car won't die instantly if you if they make contact with you, and vice versa. And then the 360 cam, they showed off for like a whopping half a second, but when he passed somebody, he looked behind him and like, to an angle behind him. And like, the normal main angle of the car, like that while everyone races, that like, chase cam. So at least they finally did one thing that people have been really wanting. But it definitely looks like from that too, the graphics just keep getting better, slightly. Yeah, I don't either. Like, I would want I want the track map because it's just nice to have. Just get a general idea where everyone is on the track, but it's not like I'm not gonna play it because of it. So I don't think it was there anything else. Oh right, yeah, they kinda went over the setup thing. Like it's a lot like Heat 2 where like you can do the specifics or then they showed you a little more in-depth. There's like basically four different types of tight and four different types of loose setups. That you can just click, like, it's like loose one, loose two, loose three, loose four, and then there's just the neutral, and then tight one, two, three, four. And obviously, four being the tightest and, f and 
Lucis. And of course, good old Chad. They had to have Chad again in the trailer. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, but Jimmy's washed up. And it's okay. He was a cheater. No one fun. Yeah. I was gonna say Circuit to France. I'm like, you're talking about race? I'm like, but yeah. Like Lance. Found out with his one nut and he was roiding. I don't know about that. I just know that. Um, apparently, he talked about too how, like, basically, when he lost his nut, he lost like testosterone from it, and basically, he needed the roid so he could just actually just be like normal. <laughs> yeah, I think the problem is still that he used it, and. He kind of admitted, like, I think the problem also too is he said too that like, if it wasn't for that he wouldn't have probably been able to win. So that's why they say it's cheating, even though it was more to keep him like normal. So he lost a nut. I was welcome to the stream as well. Talk about nuts. But, uh. Yeah. Just waiting for Mr. Hobo to finish up his, uh, drift sesh. Or whatever it is. I think it's a drift sesh. Oh, right, I forgot that you, you qualified, what, 14th for this race? Because we did, like, up to the race, and then my dinner was going to be, like, 20 minutes away, but obviously I couldn't do the race, so we just ended it there. And it's also at Spain. Yeah, and then we just never, we basically never did it. You can't hear my phone, can you? I was saying just run this through my speaker, and normally that drowns it out. Saying so my ears are itchy, so I had to take off my heads. I don't know why my ears got really itchy. I came back mid. Oh, so you can't hear my can't hear my phone, can you? No. Uh. At least not yet, but you know. I think I got pulled for this, I don't remember. Did I get a sixth place grid thing? Or am I thinking of the other? I think, I think you got pull. Yeah, I think at Russia where I like hardly made the contact with Lewis, and it's like, oh, five grid place. It's like cool. Uh, didn't we both get penalized off of that? Then you start fifth, and I start at six. Mm, okay, or I think that was Bahrain. Or was that the one? Yeah. I think and, that was Bahrain. Yeah, because yeah, remember I started. Yeah, Russia, you actually I got pulled. starting pole once. Yeah, yeah you actually, that was Russia, because... Because you didn't get a bounty. And then... Yeah. And I am ready when you are. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna have to remember that I'm not coming to this trip. my car. 
literally all playing online because they added like a new drift kind of like multiplayer thing for online or redid it or whatever they did. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the tracks I drifted. So. <laughs> it was very odd. I feel like for Forza 8, something they'll need is like in Forza Horizon, f or Forza Horizon, in Forza Motorsports 4 and stuff. Like that uh, Asian track, I can't think of the name of it, but like, like one through like Mount Fiji or whatever. That was like perfect for drifting. They need, a tr they need like a track like that where it's like good for drifting. Yeah, they need to add that, especially since they're adding, adding drift packs, because that's uh, one of the circuits on Formula Drift Japan. I think that was like one of the major ones. I think it's like Suzuku and or whatever the name of that thing is. And then uh, Mount Fiji. Alright, let's look at the racetrack. Mm. Looks like I'm running very warm tires already. Yeah, but I, actually, you didn't qualify in the top 10, you should be able to put a fresh set on. Oh. Because if you don't qualify in the. Oh, it's gonna rain at the end of the race. Uh, I screwed I'm good with that. So it's 33 laps and you're giving us 34 already. No, I bumped up to 35 and a half. I just bumped up to 35. Time for some formula. Eh. It's time for some. I need to fix this thing. Ooh, wow. crap. Almost ran half the whole clutch. Oh, wait, huh. we're not even in the thing yet. Yeah, no. I was just moving my phone charger around. Slippers, no! Why am I watching this in few view? <laughs> Have an open sign, like, look at chat. Alright, shush game. Oh, my good. Wow, they all took them for me. Oh, my God, they're lagging a little. Just got pushed off the road. This is fun. This is fun. You see Botas like face oh, shifting in front of me. Great song. Got pushed off the track again. God, that like physically hurts my eyes going from uh freaking Forza back to this. Like, just how graphically different it is, like, it's fucking with me for some reason. <laughs> and I spun out. Damn, we parked the Apex up there. how loose these cars were. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. We're going through like the slow part of the track, and I'm like almost, I'm like kind of like semi drifting out of the exits. Oh my god, this car is so loose! Like my fucking drift car built has more grip than it. I also forget that these casinos are qualifying two tires, at least in the top ten. This is where I had to do like six laps, so these tires already feel warm. Yeah. Mine were refreshed, huh? so you're right about not having to run the warm tires. As I recall, too, I think looking at the little like graph that had, they were like at 90 or below. So it's like they're not terrible, but not like 95, like just doing like a lap. I'm about to stretch these tires though, just so I can regain some. Positions. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I've reeled in both has partially. There goes the DRS. <laughs> like, both has took a defending room when I was really far behind because I overdrove and needed the DRS. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't like that, like, the like the only other straight really in the game, or in the game on the track. Like, when you go from that quick, like, left to right turn, that's where I keep almost spinning out. Race officials have enabled DRS. 
Uh, yeah, because I, uh, wait, this one at the end, or the one, like, this kind of uphill? Like, from, like, the little uphill, that straight? Yeah. Like, that's after that long strain, like, that, too. like, sharp 180, that's where it's going to be really useful. I forgot, I changed my name. Uh, almost got insulted whenever my freaking fastest time popped up. Damn game. And over the NDC numbers. Hit launch and. My car's gonna actually be useful for the health part too. I can now that's gonna take a little loose as well. Look at the wrong corner. Thought I was in P3 somehow. Turns out that's a lap 3. <laughs> Be like, hey, how am I in 33rd? <laughs> I think as soon as I can get on, like, the same kind of rare tires, I'll be able to pass both tests. But my tires are just too worn to really try. Oh, you guys break so much. I'm gonna force the McLaren off the track. Speaking of McLaren, that's, uh, Carlos Sainz is replacing Alonzo. I'm guessing he got kicked off because of Daniel Ricardo. Yeah. Or is he just wanting to leave? Well, I guess because... Oh, I wait, no. Didn't Ricardo say that he could... Your weight room was that for Saffin saying that, like, couldn't have uh, signed as a teammate? Throw your... Uh, it's probably signs they hated each shit. other when they raced together for the short time with uh, Paul Rosso. And Science got very jealous when he got promoted to the main rebel because of the win. Lance Stroll, why? I think he changed into He's just well. fucking lagging and not driving. I'm not gonna lie, I passed both tests at some point and I don't. What are you doing, Lance Stroll? Jesus Christ. Why? 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 Why are you like this? You <laughs> fucked up. Get the fuck out of here. Why? Jesus Christ. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. I'm kind of seeing the bow test was just holding me up. Because whenever I did pass, which I don't even remember, um, I'm running like a half a second slower a lap and I'm pulling away when I was on his booty. You think I go quicker after I pass him, but I'm not running this lunch. <laughs> lunch! I am excited for you. I don't get also what position from that. Also, big concern is the problem I'm going to be going through the pack. So, that's $60, so I'm not going to get heat 3 now. So, I was saying, I need to renew my goal in the game, because then I was like, it sucks when I have to get a renew. It doesn't have to be 60 bucks. It could be like 20 Oh, you McLaren piece of shit. But it's Look actually funny, this is like the one thing here, wrong go with, is we'd rather just keep getting like a year things. We did before where I got like a month and then my mom's like, no. It's getting new year, I don't care. You know, like three months we Alonzo, fuck off, go fucking race NASCAR or do something else. Get the fuck out of my way. My tires are dying. It's on my eyeballs. How's work going, man? Oh, why are you checking up? Why are you still on the race line? If you check up, get the fuck out of the way. I 
fucking force India piece of shit. Super I think it's for Lynch. Rose every team I pass. Holy crap, what the fuck? <laughs> that car lagged and literally went back about 20 feet. Like, if I was behind him, I would have been taken out, but he took me out anyways. He's still trying to spin me. What the fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ, like, these AI, AI, AI are like so bad right now. Yeah, they really were on the start, so I'll both test they shift them back so and forth. Like, legit, that Force India shot back 50 yards, and came right back to the side of me, and then tried to spin me. Also, they're doing this weird thing in the DRS zone where they'll go to the left and not run the actual racing line. Oh, yeah. Don't so know this is they're trying to defend the turn. Oh. Uh -huh. So they're trying to make you pass you on the outside. It doesn't work because, uh. I had yeah, that breaks too early. Basically, fault the move every time. There's also that too, they break too early, so it's not. It's not even worse. <laughs> Just how laggy the freaking AI are right now. <laughs> Finally, the good old name of the of this season, the laggy AI, gets to be used. Like, he's really just, like, moving back and forth in a straight line. Like, I don't know how to explain it, you can just tell, like, it's bad. Oh, I made the P9. <laughs> P9. Good. Good thing my pit window is 8 to 9 laps because I want to go one more lap. I know our window is about to close. I'm heading this lap. I don't know if this guy used to these shitty tires, but that shit doesn't feel half bad. Oh, what the fuck is going on? I feel like I should have made it. It's like my entire like F1 thing is glitching out now. Like, there are lines going through my screen right there, and I can hear popping on the mic. I don't know what's happening. I like I'm being hacked by fucking China. Hmm. Like, I feel like my TV is about to freaking transform into a, well, like, transform, tra transformer and fly out the window. Hmm. So I just have one more lap. Boy, did these tires go real quick in one lap. Ow. Teammates in the pits. I am nowhere near that, so... Mother. I just told my mic it's a bitch and it's not the fuck out. Ow. 
I'm not going to put in this lap. I'm going to try to stretch this as much as I can. Because I definitely don't want to fall back at 13. Oh god, this doesn't put mediums on. I'm going to use that twice. Botas. Botas. Oh crap, I'm at the pit in this lap. Well. How my tires doing? I don't know that bad. Oh, I jumped all the way back down. You're not. I oh, jumped down to eighth on re-entry. That's, that's a bit better. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I overdrove that fucking corner. God damn it, a boat's ass is on my ass. I like that. Make sure you don't speed in the pit road, just hauling ass right down the line. Yeah, don't speed down pit road, I'll go down 150. So, yeah, this is long. Okay. I about clipped the wall going into yeah. the pits. That yeah, was was that's not one thing you gotta worry about where, uh, you see there's like a pit wall here actually, you gotta be careful. What's after this, Monaco? Oh, that's gonna be fucking hell. <laughs> it's all gonna be on stream. I'm gonna struggle with that too. See that you have to race there. And Monaco, it's just a little narrow. And like AI is gonna be equal fun. Yeah, I about. Uh, race quit Monaco on my actual career thing. That was the <laughs> second race I've done there. Like I just couldn't get a Red Bull to rotate and that's the best handling car. And it just didn't do what it was supposed to do at Monaco. Thank you Casey for the house. I did sound like there's a freaking Apache helicopter in my mic right now. <laughs> it's on my mic, is it? On setting the stream, my mic's doing some weird stuff. I don't hear it, so it's like. That's what my head said. I don't. It's not like. It kind of sounds like what was happening with like your uh, Assassin's Creed stream, mm -hmm. but. Not as bad. Another thing I know that happens even with this headset, even though it's not wireless, um, I get a uh, phone interference with my phone if it's too close, and it could be that maybe your phone's too close to you. And that it's might be it, because my phone's basically sitting right next to me on my desk. Because, like, my phone's pretty close to me right now, but sometimes you can, you can have it too close. Just put the new fastest lap overall. I was also on rich. I was on tires while there was no pressure. Race pace. Oh my god, this orangutan get the fuck out of the way. Orangutan? Orchid, or con, or whatever the fuck he is. Force I need a driver. I think Perez is leaving. I saw it. Sahara, if I recall. 
or Ocon. I forget which one it is. There's no apparently Lance. Ocon. Uh, that's what it is. Because I know that thing. I'm pretty sure Lance Stroll's going to Force India. Also, something that's interesting is uh, Sahara still gonna be, is actually going to be able to finish the season now. Oh, that's another reason why Lance Stroll is going to probably uh, Sahara is because his dad bought Sahara. Nice. Because the team literally Before went Before Orangutan or Orca Whale is only one I've been getting hit by. There's like no joke, like they actually weren't supposed to even race a Hagara ring for Cynthia. But uh, it was because of Perez. He was able to get help from others to be able to actually have them race at Hagara ring. What's happening happen to him again? Or? I kind of zoned out. I was just that uh, Sahara Force India wasn't going to race at Hagar Ring. You know, it was because of Perez that they even did. So he got people to help him with the courts to force them to show up for the Hagar Ring. Were they just like too broke or? Uh, want to I don't know if it's too there, broke, it's just uh, the owners don't want to own it anymore. And they literally just like full out, like, were like, bye. Oh. So there was no money in that sense. But yeah, Lance Stroll's dad and a bunch of Canadians bought the team. Seeing obviously he's Canadian, his dad's. Is that what his company name is? Lance Stroll and dad and a bunch of Canadian in a court? I don't know. His, his Sorry, dad trying, is fashion. I'm trying to pass Perez, I can't make a joke right now. Get the fuck out of the way. And he knocked me. Oh, I dripped around that corner. Pulled off the pass. All I know is that whatever Price's dad does, he's a fashion business owner and he's a millionaire. So. Yeah, I feel like if you uh, buy an F1 team, probably gonna have deep pockets. It also helps that him and like a bunch of others on top of his dad bought the team, and I think that's why Stroll's going to that team. And then I think originally it was supposed to be Ocon or Perez leaving, but then seen Perez kind of like save the team from existing this year. Like, it feels kind of bad if we make you leave. To be fair, Perez isn't even half bad. He's just, you know, this is Sahara, which isn't Ferrari or anything in terms of this, like, equipment. But I just know with the people that is uh, Lance Stroll's dad and the people that bought, like, everyone that works there is still going to be able to work through the season. And they'll be funded throughout this season. At the very least. Oh, interesting. This was that, um, like, we did our first pit stops. Both the Mercedes are still in softs. They put me onto mediums and I'm pulling away. Yeah, Force Indias are on softs too. Is my strategy was soft, medium, medium. So this is interesting. I guess for them it's soft, 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 medium. Uh, oh, you I'm know what that was? Oh, medium. They're on, they're on the actually extra pit stop strategy. So it's probably soft, 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 medium. Instead <laughs> so of soft, medium, medium. Or soft, soft, medium. So I might gain some spots then because. Didn't that take like? Yeah, for us, I think it took like over two extra seconds. seconds. Yeah. I think I'm working on the Red Bulls right now. I just realized this had a nice. Oh, my nose is running. This is bad. Oh no! What's up, GF? What's your alternative strategy? Is he still GF? Pit four laps now, or pit four laps now? You know, screw it, because it's supposed to rain, so it's not really going to matter. Keep these, try to keep softer tires. It's supposed to change the rain, so.
Okay, now it's gonna rain in 10 minutes? Uh, that's not the end of the race, that's more like the last quarter of the race instead of the end. So we're going around here in a minute and 20. So it's gonna be 20, it's gonna be like lap 25 when it starts. I see why they want me to pit now on those mediums, because we stay up to lap 22, it's like two laps before we're back in for that's why they want me to do a different strategy. So it's the one of these tires. This is where I just need to keep you in my lead bigger and bigger because you're better than me. I put lap 24. So this is going to be fun. Here, that's the, that's the part of this like, strategy. I went for the strategy change. Just seeing, like, I don't want to be out for two laps and then back. I didn't get one. My guy hasn't even told me that there's rain coming yet. Yeah, mine just told me two la or a lap ago that it's ten minutes away. Oh, Jesus! Sometimes I'm not, I'm not putting enough steering influence to the last turn. I'm just going into the scene. Verstappen out of the way. Eh, it's fine. Collision with Verstappen more than you. If you got anything. I didn't get anything. I didn't really punt them out of the way. I kind of just mm. made sure my nose was in his back. Here's what I'm burning fuel you know, on standard. Because I did I the lap one bridge. Which, it put me down to like 1.6 laps. And I've been on standard and I'm down to 1.2. I went back down the stairs. Going so for the launch! Oh, okay. Are you still there? And clear. Okay, we're ready for you. Hang on, lie. I also wonder if they knew when I would catch up to this train of fucking like eight cars. Because literally, the lap that I'm, I'm pinning this lap, I literally just got to the back of these. This train of lap traffic. I wonder if they also knew that was going to happen and just figured, you know what, paint you early so you don't have to catch up to them. Teammate in the pits. Now that we're thank you, Casey, for the retweet link as well. Um, in the pits, I don't know. How's everyone doing? That's more all cheese. Go go go! If you're still here, Brand. How you doing? Never said how you were doing. Just said how work was going. Man, this team is the season of 2.6 or three second pit stops for me. Okay, Hamilton and Boat has a very interesting strategy. So ours was soft, soft, or soft, medium, medium, and theirs was soft, soft, hard. Which will be good for you, because they're going to be on the worst tire compound, or at least on like, the medium. I shouldn't say worst, but like the least. Right behind the boat's ass. I just was. Actually, I don't know what this is. Fourth. Oh. Cardo is 22 seconds behind the team. Right, so I'm basically right on both ass and basically right behind Ricardo. Can you tell what uh, tires he's on? Uh, Ricardo? Uh, both ass. Hard. Okay, you're already Oh, yeah, dog. It's a soft first mistake. He's already pitted, so you'll probably. You'll have to. You'll basically get repassed by him in the pits. I don't think you can get 20 yeah. seconds in four laps. One thing is, I can stretch two more laps, so that's when my window opens. So. I was gonna say, for her, being rain in 10 minutes, it's not really looking like it's gonna start raining, but now the track is not in shade. This is legit how it looked 
yesterday for me, like in real life, and it fucking poured. Huh. This means it should be a downpour instead of light rain, which I think it's in. Actually, no, you just said rain in 10 minutes. Oh, bone time, so it just killed me. There you go. I was on his inside and he straight up clocked me into the grass. Why the lag? Uh, but I say I might just try to stretch these tires until the rain comes. Because I can go technically to lap 24 on this window. And my tires aren't looking that bad with four laps to the window closer. Only problem with that is even like when it starts raining, it's probably going to still be like an extra lap or two before we have to pit. We might just start losing time. Because like if you pit like as soon as you can, at least you have a, like four to five laps, so it's not as bad as like two to three laps. And you can really just abuse those tires, seeing you know it's gonna rain, and try to make up when they pit to go into the wets. I only lose two positions, so. You know who forgot to go back to standard after doing this quick lap? It's gone. Well, Tass. And guess who just fucking revved out in third and fourth gear? Pretty bad. Hmm, my brakes are a little hot. <laughs> Sorry, I see. You'll do it better. I'm sorry. It's a solid. I think it's at almost 10%. Sorry, engine. Good thing that gets reset. So, oh boy, did I just kill it right there. I'll say mine's only at 5% right now on the ICE. I think the, M the MGKU is actually over 10% as well. That's supposed to be oh, like running hot and That too. was fun. I'm looking at my engine. Uh, my MGUH is at six. Uh, turbo is at six, and gearbox, is at gearbox, is at gearbox is at six. Ah, I can't talk today. The fuck. <laughs> gearbox is at six percent. My gearbox is actually at four. Probably difference between manual and automatic. Five minutes total rain. I feel like they went from saying 10 minutes to lap 17 to now it's... It should have already started raining. Like, it's been about 10 minutes, and now it's five minutes. I feel kind of bad. It's getting you know, these stars darker. Are too soon inside the rain. It's definitely getting darker, though. The blue skies are kind of disappointing. Also, you want to get your bitch ass out of the racing group? Thanks. Oh my god, don't spin yourself out though. I know, my controller's dying too. Why is everything oh. going wrong in this race? I learned my freaking ability to talk. My nose is <laughs> running. One good thing is, unless you are laggy. You can, put, you can change your batteries quickly. Uh, I don't have batteries. I have rechargeable packs. Hopefully the last of the end of the race is over really suck. Jesus Christ, okay, crew chief, why the yell at me there? Alright, but just got daddy's way. Whoa, the poor feels fast now. 
<laughs> Whoa, my car's all nice. I like that Kavia just tried to pass in Hulkenberg, like, in the grass. He like, tried going to his outside, and it was very interesting. Get out of the way, Kavia. I know you're racing somebody for position, but you also have to respect that. Like, Hulkenberg's doing, except he's, like, blocking, but he's, like, giving me the outside. Oh, that's because he's letting me around on the outside. Like, wow, I made that pass on the outside where that's usually not pass. Wow, it uh, got dark. I went from being like the whole track. Yeah, it's definitely a lot like, more clouds in front of me now. There's like one little gap of sunlight. Or blue. Okay, okay. On the outside. The gap behind us is 29.2 seconds. God dang it, Ricardo, get over here. Let me pass you. Where's Rain at game? Please my up on this. I definitely wasn't paying attention there and somehow passed Ricardo. How no, I passed Botas for a while. It's time for me to uh, cruise back here in fifth, because I am 11 seconds off of Verstappen. I tried to hold that off so long, and it didn't happen. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't even mute my mic either, because I was in the middle of a turn. That's the worst. Sounded so bad. Also, was with Spain not having M1 DNF? It's actually usually a race that has DNFs because it's a little shorter, a little more tight. I 
was here. I don't think I had any in my career race either here. It's like the only race I've had so far without them. Somehow I regained fifth and now only nine seconds behind on Verstappen. After literally sneezing myself into the wall, and I'm starting to see rain. It doesn't say, it says it's rain, but I don't see it. Oh, I can see it very faintly. Yeah. I don't know if we're ever going to go on wet, though. Six laps, or That's seven all, laps. If it picks up, yeah, but it stays like this. Huh? No, I will say now the raindrops are going on the screen. Because I think the track's going to be so close. But it is, uh, it went from like, oh, there's a few raindrops to, mm, it's actually a little rainy. Mm. Yeah. It keeps getting wetter and wetter. And I'm already kind of noticing, like, okay, all right. It's very wet. Yeah, my wheels are starting to spin a bit. This is some of the most intense light rain I've seen in my life. Uh, know what I learned today after watching uh, Hoonigan's science thing video today? Is that a uh, so can stop your car from launching, basically. Hmm. Like, uh, they took a, like, their rally car, like, uh, Ken Box, basically, but his teammate's car, and, uh, put it on, like, a little platform thing with like an inch worth of this show on and uh it went from a 1.3 second launch to a four point like nine <laughs> yeah something sounds like it it's the next lap or two If we have to go to wets though from intermediates, I'm staying on intermediates because there'll be no point. I'm definitely gonna have to go into intermediates if you like. I'm already eight tenths down in sector one. What am I losing the track? Definitely uh, when overdrive the turn to money towards me. Aggressively looser again, though. I feel like when the car's heavy, it's much looser. I haven't been as loose as the car's been losing the field. Hey, crew chief, when are you going to say what's going on in your media? Since I am about to spin out a very exit of the turn. Right calls to stick with the tires we have right now. All right, well I guess it looks like I'm seeing on dries. It's my spotters at wind and run. My ability to drive a lot better on rain or on wet is uh, coming out now because I'm doing pretty good now. Like I'm literally leaving Ricardo and catching Verstappen and not like spinning out, even when I had DRS there. Another problem I'm now running into is they put me on these tires a little early, and it's kind of the end of the race. The tires don't feel great. 
Like, I paid it four laps earlier than I was Four laps is killed. Just casually almost five seconds off the pace per lap. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still a hood big in the turn, so. Nope, I'm crawling and it's just becoming very slippery. Though my lead is not growing away though, you know, I'm five seconds off my lap, so I'm not losing my pace. Just one and a half seconds oh, off the Oh, the AI I'm struggling right now. Like, I gained three seconds on Ricardo just in sector one. At this point, I honestly might just say YOLO and just run one lap in the rain if it becomes too wet. This is even lap 32. I haven't been told to change. If it doesn't tell me the change before I get to the pit box, I'm gonna stay number. Okay, there's a lap to you. I don't know. I don't even know who I've lapped up to. I know I'm lapped up in some I'm points. just not coming to lap 31. I'm about to be on lap 32. I kind of did look yeah. better I am about to. Oh my god, you're not kidding about them slowing down a lot. I just noticed this Botas was 48 seconds behind me last time I got like an update and now it's 50. Oh no, I probably did lose a lot. He's second at 40 seconds back. God, I'm 7 seconds slower First now. Stappen is oh god, it's right in front of me. Are you sure I'm starting to see like water come up? Oh yeah, I can see so you're basically right behind me. On my map. Gained another two seconds in both times. And he's in third. Oh, so much for this turn in interest, I guess. It's gonna be yeah, shitty. Yeah, so we just gonna drives. continue to run the drives if it which is intermediate because uh, they haven't even disabled DRS yet. Yeah, apparently it's still raceable enough. As soon as DRS turns off, you know that it's basically the win. Yeah. Oh, heavy rain in 10 minutes time. Too unfortunate that the race is over. Yeah, I'm so running DRS on Verstappen right now. This is fun. It would suck if Monaco was in the rain, because that's just even worse. We've only got two perps and fuel left. Man, we are crawling. Wow, I'm up to 10 seconds off my lap. How are these tires... My guy's only 8 off mine. I just don't get how these tires are going still. Oh my god, I'm power sliding. They might be holding off just because it's basically the last lap. Yeah. Boy, though, is it hard to drive. Oh, there goes DRS. Oh, there's DRS. Okay, the stewards have now disabled nope. DRS. DRS is now disabled. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, the track is gone. I'm getting wheel spin off of Every turn, I can't even accelerate out of these turns. And Ericsson's just driving like a grandma. I'm gonna Tokyo drift this later. Ooh, when it tells me to go into fourth gear through that one turn, they can run the seventh. Now that the track's going. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to risk on these tires, though. Yeah, they're not pinned, then we definitely got them. Obviously, you can't. Turns out literally everyone in front of me pits coming to the line. That'd be interesting. Oh my god. Oh, started 14th, went all the way to the back on the first turn, and then back in the fourth. That doesn't sound that bad. No, no. Yeet. <laughs> I started swerving at the start finish line, and of course, when the game takes over, it's just like, nope.
Let's watch how about I don't think I'm gonna get both tasks here. You just murdered that McClure. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I got a warning with it. I this <laughs> that was a good time to see your perspective. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and that was uh Vandal and me trying to this one to eighteen. <laughs> Man, the wheels are definitely uh, chugging right now. Ugh. You got fourth though. Not too shabby, especially for basically starting mid pack and going to last. That turned into a shit show in the final lap. Yeah. <laughs> I say I just wasn't paying attention and absolutely destroyed that McLaren. Holy crap! My Wi-Fi is buffered so much during the race that I have yet to finish the race. So much it's buffered. Oh, look at these douches. You know, Lewis is not really a douche. Honestly, neither is Botas. This is more just Mercedes. Well, you definitely were the second fastest car, looking at the best lap times. By a second. <laughs> Let's look at the race director. Let's see. Oh, only three instants. Instant. Instant. In, in, <laughs> words. Ocon had a collision with Alonso that was a warning. I exceeded the track limits, apparently, and then you murdered Van Dorn, which was only a. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up murdered that man, and it's like, eh, warning. Holy shit, I lapped up to seventh. Holy crap. I almost had the whole field by a minute. Well, if we had the announcer things, I bet I would probably be driver of the day. Yeah, achievement. A certain dominance. Hell yeah. Oh, won a total of five online races. Oh, well, that was our uh, fifth one right there, then. Alright, I'm gonna go blow my nose, so. All right. Also, the thing I forgot is I'm gonna turn off the official time and switch it tonight. See so figure out how to do that. Might have to hold off on this race because I have to go get some food and my dog is freaking out and wanting to be out. So. Okay. One thing that I forgot is I just did it. Um, I because I changed it to a custom time. All practice, qualifying in the race will all transition from sunset to night, and then the race and stuff like I have it on like faster than normal time, so we'll actually see it progress into night. And they all start at sunset. Okay. Right. I'll be back in probably like. 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna make like a quick pizza yeah. thing, and I'll still yeah. let my dogs out. Yep, I'm doing the same actually. I was gonna take my I don't dogs know if out. I can hear him. Hear him literally yeah. freaking out on the hardwood. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it like it sounds like claw or like 
this fee like on the ground. Yeah, that works out. I'll be back. Yep. Stream. I'll be back as well. I'm gonna take my dog out, and then we'll probably just chill for a little bit while Hobo makes himself some food. Cause there's no point of uh, changing to something for 20 minutes. Maybe we'll do some. Maybe we'll do like quick races or something. Maybe test out like how this looks at times. What I put the race to? We'll do like a race half distance times three just to see progression at Monaco. Actually, no, I don't want to do that because that gives me an unfair advantage. Because I don't, I've yet to run here, and I'd rather me and Hobo like have an equal chance to race here. But uh, stream. I'll be right back. I don't have any mods in my chat. I think to be here or Casey, if you're here, because it says you're here. How are you first? And second, uh, if anyone comes in, can you say hi for me if you're here? Please and thank you. But uh, I will be right back. While I take my doggies out, or my doggies, I only have one. While I take my doggie out. <laughs> <laughs> 